So, uh, yeah, I was going to talk about uh, a few other things, and then I'm going to get out of here real fast. Uh, but number one on my list is uh, Tulsa tourism. Right? Uh, we don't have a whole lot of it for some reason, but we're all local, right? We're all from Tulsa, all local represent, yeah? Yeah. Can we come together as a night, just a small group that we are, and admit that number one tourist attraction in Tulsa, Oklahoma is the construction? That's all we've got. People are lined up for miles to see it. Just an ocean of orange pounds. Wait, what else have we got? Penguins, which is fun. My girlfriend and I, we've, uh, we've created a little game in the car, you know, like slug bug. Now we've got pinchy, pinchy penguin. I started in with a smoochy, smoochy smart car. And I tried to do BJ BMW, but I already got the one we do with the four probes. And it was not, not funny at all. Um, but uh, what else do we have by way of tourism? We got the BOK Center, right? Which is brilliant. Uh, and we've got the, uh, the Tulsa Shock, is that what they call it? The, the WNBA, the Women's Basketball. Holy shit, that's awesome. We've got Women's National Basketball Association. I would be more impressed if we got a curling team. I would. I would go to that. And while we're on the subject, how is curling not a woman's sport? It's figure skating while sweeping the floor, right? Oh, Corey is not scoring with the women jokes. <laughs> Even his girlfriend's going like, you're on your own on this one. I'm not going to laugh at that shit, bitch. Ha <laughs> ha! We do have one thing going for this uh, city, and uh, I'm sure everybody here has heard it before, but I'm going to say it again, and uh, I urge you all to go if you haven't been recently. The Tulsa Zoo kicks ass. That's what it does. Well, it kicks ass and kills giraffes, but we'll get to that. Uh, a few years ago, we had one of our local nut jobs who decided that he was going to get all bent out of shape because the Tulsa Zoological Park and Nature Conservatory was promoting the theory of evolution. And he said, equal time, if you're going to teach evolution, you need to teach creationism. And the Tulsa Zoo Board said, you okay? <laughs> which threw him for a loop. But, and this is the awesome thing, they were going to label creationism myth. <laughs> we have the theory of evolution, so we're going to teach the myth of creationism, which is amazing. And I'm so pissed that it didn't go through. Not because, you know, it would honk off the, the right-wing nut jobs, but that would open the floodgates wide for the whole mythological wing of the Tulsa Zoo and we'll have a pegasus and a hippogriff and a dragon and a gay republican and leprechauns and... <laughs> Gravity sucks, doesn't it? Sorry. <sighs> but, you know, gay republicans and dragons and leprechauns and hippogriffs probably have special needs. And unfortunately, the Tulsa Zoo has not really shown their true colors in that. They, they can't save a giraffe to, you know, to keep them around. Uh, the first one, it wasn't our fault. It was damaged in transit, and if they'd held on to the receipt, we might have gotten a partial refund on it. But the second giraffe died last, well, the year before last at Christmas time, during a freak flint blizzard, because somebody didn't know how to operate the thermostat. That's just sad. The giraffe's in there like, a little cold. Can I have some cocoa or a blanket? <laughs> And both times that it happened, I hoped, I prayed that the Tulsa Zoo would do the right thing and dig a giant fire pit and have a luau. Invite all of the homeless from downtown Tulsa for a free giraffe meat dinner. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. If you give a man a giraffe, he will eat for a day. But if you teach him to hunt, the Tulsa Zoo becomes amazing! My name's Corey, we're gonna get out of here. You guys have a great night, thank you so much.